Good evening. Ready, Phil? I'm ready. Repeat. Failure. I love failure. No, I don't. It's so negative, isn't it, when you look at the word failure. That's why I put it in red. And when you actually split the word up, it says, you are a failure. How bad is that? So I thought tonight, I'm going to talk about my passion, my subject, because there we are, failure. Written in red. I'm going to talk about the success of failure. And tonight I'd like to give you all a present. A new word. The successor. You are a success. We've all got to think about success rather than failure. So that's my word to you. Because everybody talks about failure. Here we have... What's his name? Yeah, Edison. <laughs> years and years spent failing. He thought it was a success every time he failed. James Dyson failed so many times to get the product produced in this country. He wasn't a failure. And would you consider my next guest a failure? Everything he does <laughs> succeeds, yet the first thing that he ever did failed badly. And what happens in my industry when things fail? Most people may have seen my speech on BS. Well, that's what I talk about. BS. <laughs> yes. I can smell it now. But actually, no. The BS is very important. It's British standards. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's my passion. I love it. And I stand up here and I'm very proud about British standards. But tonight, I'm going to share with you one passion of mine. If it wasn't for British standards, we wouldn't have railways. We have disasters, like we had in Kirkcaldy in Scotland. If it wasn't for standards, we wouldn't have good petrol. Who uses BSEN 228 and 590 to get here? Yes, you all did. And Toyota, the failure of the Prius cost them $1.6 billion worldwide revenue. The car fails. And what do the Prius? And the failure of one aircraft on the runway actually caused the Concorde. It crashed into somebody else's parts on the runway. How bad is that? So major disasters can happen that fail. And this is probably one of the most eye-catching scenes of failure that we'll ever see. All down to a little rubber washer. <laughs> and things can fail. If you don't believe me, look at your neighbour. You know who you are. BSEN 600 for those, just to remind you. So, things can fail, but tonight I'm here to champion one of the smallest things in the world that you will all be grateful for. I'm here to actually bless and praise this little tiny object. It's so wonderful, you should actually all have one now with you, BS1362. Hands up those who've got one. Okay, so what is this magnificent little item? Ladies and gentlemen, the 13 amp fuse. If it wasn't for the 13 amp fuse, you might all be dead. We have to praise and laud the 13 amp fuse. But why? Because it's designed to fail. If it didn't fail, you would be dead. So we have to praise the 13 amp fuse. This is probably the smallest thing in the world that you can actually praise. So I leave you with that thought. If it wasn't for failure, and if it wasn't for the success of failure, you might all be dead. <laughs> <laughs> to the 13 amp fuse.